All right, we are back in the daytime kitchen with Jimmy Trent from Cabo Fish Taco, and today you are sharing a recipe for barbecue mahi tacos. Is that right? That's right. All That's right. right, let's get started. What do we need? All right, so we have uh, two flour tortillas, and like I said earlier, we do have corn tortillas. So uh, for gluten-free or celiac, we have that available for people. Okay. Um, basically, we start off with uh, this is our Cabo Mexi slaw. That's mm -hmm. our base for it right there. Does that mean there's like a little spice to it? It's it's It just has a, a spice blend in it. It is not okay. hot as okay. far as that goes. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. So we also have here, which we'll be tossing our mahi in, is the barbecue sauce, our mango barbecue sauce we make in-house. Right. Then we'll be topping it here with our cilantro white sauce that we also make in-house. Uh, this is just an herb blend that we finish it off with, and we stuff the taco with uh, guacamole, mm -hmm. uh, mixed cheeses and tomatoes. Yes, oh all my right. gosh, that sounds so good. All right, well, let's get started here. All righty. Okay, so let's go over to the stove. So we've got the pan heating up here. Go put a little little bit of oil in there and butter blend. Just oil to get it. Oil and butter blend, I <laughs> like that. Yep. <laughs> so, got the mahi right here. We're Is there put like in a there. key to cooking mahi? Uh, I think you just want to season it properly. I mean, okay. I think uh, overall, um, with anything, you just want to get it. Ooh, got a little hot here, so we'll nice. turn it down just a little right. bit. Uh, you just don't want to overcook fish, I think, is kind of the thing. Okay. And we're going to hit it. What we usually do is hit it with our black fish seasoning, which uh, we get made uh, from Motown Spice, which uh, is a company that makes all of our spices and all of our um, anything that goes into Cabo recipes. So very okay. cool. Uh huh. Let that kind of do its thing there. Okay, these are really good. I can wait. Yeah. Wow. That's really good. That's Excellent. delicious. Good. So good. One, you said once they cook them off, then they go into the barbecue sauce. Right. We'll go ahead and once that finishes up cooking, um, mm -hmm. we'll to we'll we'll toss it in our mango barbecue sauce and then uh, we'll put it right in the taco, which we can build up here. Mm -hmm. Okay. It said we'll put the avocado in there like that. Man, that's good. Yeah, that's really good. It's got good. a nice kick, but it's not overwhelming. Not overwhelming. Right, it's got a little bit of spice, but nothing too much. No. So while you're building that, tell us the other um, taco options that you all have. Well, we have a lot of different stuff. We do have some fryer, like some traditional or Cabo fish taco. Original one would be uh, just a white fish taco that comes um, with a similar setup. It would have cabbage in it instead of our slaw, okay. um, but it... Um, it comes out of the fryer as well. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's kind of more of a traditional street taco where we kind of branch out a little bit and do some wacky stuff with, with some other things just to kind of yeah. branch out a little bit, that okay. kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So uh, we do, like I said, offer non-seafood uh, options as well for the people that aren't into that so much. Mm -hmm. But we do have shrimp and, and um, different, we have tuna that we, uh, that we run that we really like. It's a very popular taco, Tabaru tuna. It's, it's one mm. of my favorites as well. So. Awesome. Now, do you have your menu online? Uh, I, we do. You do? Yeah, okay. Uh-huh. Okay. Easy enough. I'll tell you what, these are delicious. I highly recommend it if you head on out there. And, and please do. They're located on Campbell Avenue here in Roanoke, CaboFishTaco.com. Thanks again. No Thank problem. You. We'll Thanks for back. having us. Mm -hmm.